Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to stake Matic's testnet tokens on the Gorelli testnet. Uh, the Matic mainnet staking features should be released around the 29th, uh, but I want to go ahead and show you how to stake on testnet currently. If you are one of the participants that were lucky enough to be chosen, um, what you want to do is go ahead and download MetaMask. What MetaMask is, is it's basically an Ethereum wallet on the browser. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and download now and show you how to integrate that on over. So go ahead and go over to the metamask.io website, download the metamask chrome extension. Uh, this currently works for chrome and brave, uh, so it's able to have you uh, access it online for most of the decentralized applications. Uh, from there, you're going to go ahead and add it on and add it on as an extension. Now for this, it takes probably around like a, less than a minute or so. Uh, you just go ahead and download the feature and it's going to add it to your browser. Uh, for this, you can use it on different protocols like Uniswap, uh, a lot of decentralized finance applications as well. And if anything, you can also use it for your own uh, personal access if you want to have Ethereum on there um, to be able to transfer at any time as well. So once it's already on here, you're going to want to head to go, go and create your account. Now for this one, we're just going to create a brand new wallet. And go ahead and enter in a password. Now I'm gonna have. I'm just gonna show you the uh, the passphrase for this. Of course, uh, don't use this passphrase because well, everyone else who sees this video is gonna see this passphrase. But basically, for this one, it's your private key. Uh, you want to make sure that you keep it somewhere stored, somewhere secure, um, in order to back to back up and make sure that you can access your wallet later on. Um, but for this purpose, I'm just going to trash this wallet after making this video. Now for this one, uh, you're going to want to head and make sure that you copy it down somewhere. And all right, now on the next step, you're basically going to put the words back together. Um, in order to make sure that you're able to remember the wallet, of course. Nope, nope, nope. Have is before deal. And all right, so once you add that, you confirm, and MetaMask will be able to let you store your tokens on there. Now, for this feature, uh, I already have this on Brave. So for this wallet, you're able to kind of copy your wallet and then use that for your um, for your transfers. But I already have it on Brave, so I'm going to go ahead and go over to Brave. Now, you're going to want to go to the CSWallet.matic.today website, and you're going to be able to stake on the testnet. Now, for this one, they're currently using the Gorelli testnet. Uh, later on, you'll be able to switch over to uh, the mainnet on here as well. Uh, but for this purpose, we're going to use the testnet. So once you have your MetaMask and you received your testnet tokens, it's going to be right over here for me. So I received 1,000 testnet tokens. And for this one, what you want to do is once you're on the wallet, you want to make sure that you plus add token. Uh, the reason for that is because it doesn't come with other tokens itself. So what you want to do is let's say you want to add it on your Ether and your Matic so you can see how much you're holding as well. And for this feature, you can be able to send, receive, and also buy Matic too. Now there's two parts to this website. The first one is the wallet where you're able to access your wallet. And the second one is the staking feature. Now the staking feature has two routes. The first one is going to be for a Matic validator. And the second one is going to be for a Matic, Matic delegator. Now the differences between those two is for validators. Uh, they're going to be on mostly 24 seven. Uh, think of them as security checkpoints and when they're able to verify and secure the network. And as a delegator, what you're doing is you're delegating your tokens powers over to uh, the validator in order for them to verify and everything. Now, if you want to choose the validator route, you can go ahead and click on becoming a validator and there's different packages for you to do, uh, Linux or binaries. Now, let's say I wanted to use the, <coughs> the uh, Linux package. So you'll go, go ahead and go over to Maddox Developer Network and all the features of how to install the validator network. So let's say after you've already solved that, you're going to go ahead and go over to show validator slots. Now, the cool thing about Matic is that you're able to bid on your validator slots. So the higher stake ones are going to be in blue, 
while the lower stake ones are going to be in purple. So let's say, for example, if I wanted to get this auction to become a validator on the network. See, for this auction, I have to bid a total of either uh, a little bit more than 71,791 MATIC tokens uh, in order to become the top bid in order to become that validator spot. So as you can see, over time, it will kind of get expensive. Um, so it incentivizes users to actually to actually bid for their um, for their validator network. Now we're going to go ahead and go over to here. While this one, let's say you want to become the top validator on Matic, you would have to wait the unlock period of eight days. So after the eight days, this, uh, the plot comes up for auction, and then you can able to bid on it. Uh, so let's say, for example, this one has 490 Matic stake. You can go ahead and click on it, and you can auction 491. And if you bid now, your funds will be locked. Um, and basically you have your spot, but if someone outbids you, you actually receive your 491 tokens back. Um, and then after that, you can replace your validator, give your validator details, and then you'll be complete on how to set up a validator node. Now, the next one is going to be the delegating part. So for the delegator, you can become a delegator by looking down here for all the active validators. Uh, so on the network right now, there are over 122 total validators. Uh, over 19, 19 million was already distributed for rewards for the, uh, for the Matic Network testnet. It also shows you different intervals, like when was the last checkpoint, and around how many intervals is uh, for the checkpoint period. Now, there's 13 au uh, auctions going on. The auctions are for the validator network, of course. Now, but let's say you just want to become a delegator and you want to delegate your tokens to a validator. Um, for down here, you're going to go ahead and choose your validator. Now, in order to see some of these details, you go ahead and click on the validator, and you can see different people are delegating to this person, um, how many they're delegating, how much they have in shares, things like that, uh, the validator power with how much rewards that are going on, and also at the same time, their performance. Performance is basically how long they have been on the network. So let's say I went back to the validator section, and I scrolled through the validators, and I really like Anonymous 3 as my delegator, as my uh, as my validator. So I'll go ahead and click on delegate. And over here, depends on how much you want to stake. For me, I would like to stake 100. So projected rewards per checkpoint is going to be 0 0.03 Matic. So in order to delegate this, you click delegate, you're going to need a little bit of gas from Ethereum. Now, this is not going to be from the regular Ethereum mainnet. Since you're on the testnet, you're going to go ahead and reject this uh, transaction. Since you're already on the testnet, you go over to MetaMask. And from MetaMask, you want to click to copy your address. You're going to go ahead and go over to Deposit. And from here, it's going to have a testnet faucet, which is what you're going to be able to get, uh, basically free Ethereum on the testnet. So this will not be transferable to the mainnet, by the way. So it's not like free Ethereum. You're going to go ahead and click on get it and you're going to go ahead and enter in your address after that make sure that you're not a robot cool and i'm going to go ahead and request ethereum this will probably take around 15 to 20 seconds to verify after that you'll receive the testnet tokens uh, the testnet tokens, once again, are only going to be on the testnet. They're not going to be valid for any online transactions for the mainnet, so you're not going to be able to transfer it to like different exchanges or anything unless they're in the testnet phase. Okay, so once it's already added on there, I'm going to go ahead and click Delegate. And for MetaMask as well, uh, you can also edit the transactions. So if you wanted to go slower, make it a little faster, you're just paying a little bit more of the testnet ETH. But for us, since we're we basically got the testnet tokens for free, what we're gonna do is just put it as really fast and confirm the transaction. So now it's going on to delegating. So what you're doing right now is the network is verifying that the transaction is going through. You can also go back onto MetaMask and see that it says pending. Confirm. So you can also see that it's pending. Uh, you can also check on etherscan.io if you want to see what happened to the transaction and estimated times and things like that.
All right, cool. Now that it's confirmed, uh, the transaction has been confirmed. So what happened was the testnet sends it out to the Ethereum testnet. And then after that, it's confirmed. It'll show right here, contact contract interaction. Now you can go over to my account from the delegator. And you can see that now my Matic balance is 900 Matic instead of that uh, instead of that 1,000 that we had prior. Now for this, you go ahead and just refresh the page. And after you refresh the page, uh, it might take a while, so you might want to refresh for a little bit, but it will show you my delegator details. So from my delegator details, you can see that my balance went from 900, from 1,000 to 900. Um, my total stake is 100 Matic on this one. Um, and at any time, if you'd like, you can also unbound now, unbounding is basically you're taking your Matic tokens back to your to your Matic, ba uh, Matic balance and you're undelegating from this delegator. Um, but for this one, over time, you'll actually receive commission. Um, and once commissions come up, you'll be able to stake your rewards again or also withdraw your rewards. Now, let's say, for example, if you received a balance of like 20 Matic that came back to you, what you're going to want to do is either A, you can withdraw it back into your Matic address, or you can also compound it and stake your reward as well. Uh, currently, right now, the reward is too small to withdraw because we just uh, we just delegated with them. Um, but from there, you know, once you have your amount up here, you can restake your rewards. Now, the reason that you want to stake with Matic, of course, is because of its staking economics. Now, for the first year, uh, once Matic mainnet is launched, 12% of its total supply of 10 billion tokens is to fund the Matic staking rewards. Now, the difference is, is that if you're a validator, your validator rewards are the staking rewards plus any transaction fees that are on that block. Now, for your, if you're a delegator, you're only receiving that portion of the staking rewards and not the portion of the staking of the transaction fees. Now, it also goes into a breakdown of the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth year rewards. Um, depending on the uh, circulating stake supply. Uh, so for this example, they're going to show the example of 30% of the circulating supply being staked uh, for reward of around 20%, which is basically the reward pool. And it also goes into more detail of why you want to become an early, early validator or delegator. So for the first example, uh, let's say if the Matic testnet uh, switches over to mainnet and no one delegates. So the first year, let's say only 5% of the circulating supply is staked. The first year, since you're actively securing the network, making sure that the network is okay, you actually receive 120% in return for your annual reward. Now, in actuality, most of the network that is, uh, if you're holding Matic tokens, uh, you want to make sure that you're receiving some, uh, some Matic back. So what you want to do is after you delegate, so let's say, for example, even if it's at 40%, so 40% of the active network would be around 15, uh, you know, so 15%. So it goes on and on, but these are going to be the actual figure of uh, kind of like estimated figures. Um, so it just depends on the network. Now let's estimate if it's around 30%, you receive 20% for the first year. And you can see as time progresses, it makes it, you still receive your rewards, but the initial phase is where you want to make sure you get in. Now for this, there's a few different things for it. Uh, if you want to stake on here, uh, I'll go ahead and link this article on the bottom of this video so you can see the different uh, token economics for the staking mechanisms. But that's going to be it for the video. Uh, so I went ahead and showed you how to create the wallet, how to get MetaMask onto your network, making sure that you're switching to the Gorelli testnet in order to have the testnet tokens, and then after that, the staking feature. Now I'm going to go ahead and fast forward a little bit until when my uh, my rewards show up to show you how to re-delegate your rewards as well. All right, so 30 minutes has passed by, and what I did was I also staked another 800 Matic to another delegator. Um, so in order to find out where you're staking, you just go into your staking wallet. Over here, you go to My Delegator Details, and from there, you can kind of see how I have two validators that I'm working with, um, but it's going to show you your rewards on this side. So you just go ahead and click on here, and it'll show you both of those validators. Now, there's two options for it. So you one, you can withdraw your reward. You go ahead and click on it, and it will send you the transaction. Of course, it's going to also cost some gas to do this as well. So if you have a little bit of reward, I recommend you know not just waiting for it to be up a little bit, um, depending on Ethereum's gas price. But since we're in the test net, uh, this is not very expensive. So you can go ahead and confirm or reject. Uh, to confirm, it sends it back into your wallet. If you reject, 
and just cancel those transactions. So for me, I'm actually going to restake my reward uh, to order, in order to compound it a little bit more. And the transaction will pop up right over here. It'll tell you the gas that's used. Uh, you can also edit the gas as well. If you feel like it's a little bit too slow or too fast, uh, depending on your, your preference as well. Uh, since this is a testnet, I'm just going to go ahead and switch to the fast since I got the ether for free and go ahead and confirm. Now it's going to restate your rewards. So the next time that the rewards come up for the, for the validator, it'll come right back over here as well. Okay. And that's going to be all for the tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys liked it.